Hey, this is the sixth lesson in chapter two. This is all about tax tip and markup. A lot of vocab in this chapter, so we're gonna just take it one at a time for this particular lesson to make sure that you truly do understand each um, idea. And the first vocab word is sales tax. Sales tax is a percent of the sale price, and we're going to make sure we highlight that important word there, of. So it's a percent of the sale price of an item that is paid to the government. So we are all aware of the fact that the price tag on an item in the store is not necessarily the exact same price we're going to pay as we check out. Some items are taxed. Okay, In Pennsylvania, our tax rate is 6%, which means that $0.06 cents on every dollar goes to the government. Now, not all items in Pennsylvania are taxed. Uh, I'll give you an example of some items that are taxed. So if you get a new iPhone, you will pay tax on that. Okay. If you buy a car, you will pay tax on a car. If you buy a new Xbox, you will definitely pay tax. Um, if you buy uh, crayons, you will pay tax on that item. Okay. Now, items in Pennsylvania that are not taxed, you will not pay tax on food. You will not pay tax on drinks. You will not pay tax on clothing. So, um, <clears throat> one of the questions I'm going to ask in class tomorrow, what's the difference between taxed items and non-taxed items? Okay, we're going to talk about that tomorrow in class. But make sure you have a note of this and start thinking about what kind of items you do pay tax on and what kind of items you do not pay tax on. All right, next vocab word is tip, also known as gratuity. Know both of these words. They mean the same thing, but they'll be used interchangeably in questions in this lesson. And a gratuity is a percent of, there it is again, the word of, percent of the bill that is paid to the server. So people that tend to get tips are waiters and waitresses, delivery people, people who deliver your food, hairstylists, and taxi or Uber drivers, people who do a service for you. Oftentimes you will give them a tip to show them that you appreciate the good service that you received. Okay, our next vocab word is markup. Markup might be the word that you are less familiar with in this lesson, but markup is a percent of, oh my goodness, we see that word again, of, a percent of the wholesale price that is added to find the selling price of an item. So in order for a store to make money, they have to buy things for a cheaper price and sell them for a more expensive price because they need to pay their employees, they need to pay their bills, they need to pay all kinds of stuff, and they also want to turn a profit. So the money that they add on to the cost of an item is called the markup. Okay, It's a percent of the wholesale price that is added to find the selling price. Selling price then is the amount that you would pay at a store for an item, so the amount that the store charges. And here's a little graphic that you should know. Wholesale, which is also sometimes called cost or store cost, okay? Wholesale, also known as cost or store cost, plus the markup is how we get the selling price, okay? So think about that wholesale or the store cost plus the markup gets us that selling price. Okay, a couple notes here uh, to find tax tip and markup. First, we have to always change the, the percent to a decimal, and we will use D2P to do that, and then we just multiply. You saw that word of turn up in every single definition, right? Uh, sales tax, a percent of the sale price. Gratuity is a percent of the bill. Markup is a percent of the wholesale price. So you should have already been predicting that we would be doing some multiplication here. And that's because of that word of in each definition. If we just want to find the tax, the tip, or the markup, we stop after we multiply and we are completely finished. If we are asked to find the total cost after sales tax tip or markup, or maybe instead of total cost, maybe the selling price, then we have to take that number we get from multiplying and we have to add it to the original amount. Okay, so this could be a really fast two-step problem where we just change the percent to a decimal and multiply, or maybe it's a three-stepper and we have to do some addition as well. You need to read very carefully in this lesson to know what they're asking you for. 
So let's do some examples. Elliot went to Target to buy a Nintendo Switch. The cost was $425 and the tax rate was 6%. How much tax will Elliot pay? So the first thing we have to do is take our percent and change it to a decimal. So don't forget, we move the decimal one, two places and we add a zero in that empty bucket. So the decimal here is 0 0.06. And we are going to take 0 0.06 and multiply it by $425. Four hundred twenty five times point zero six is twenty five dollars and fifty cents. I did use a calculator on this and just trying to keep the videos short. Twenty five dollars and fifty cents. So that's the amount of tax that Elliot will pay. Okay, so if they're only asking for tax, you just stop there. Now, step two says find the total with tax. So if they ask you that, now you have to take your tax and add it back into the original price. So Elliot will pay $425 for the Nintendo Switch, and he will also pay $25.50 for the tax. So that brings his grand total to $450.50. Okay, so that would be his total. Next one, let's do a tip one. Ricky works as a delivery person for Suglia's. Last week, his best customer had a $45 order and she gave Ricky a 22% tip. How much was Ricky's tip? All right, so we take our percent, we change it to a decimal, which is 0.22, and we are going to multiply that by $45. Again, I'm going to use my calculator to speed things up a little bit, but we're only asking here for the tip amount, so we will be finished after we multiply 0.22 times $45, and that is $9.90. I did that on my calculator. Being quick. Okay. So, $9.90, we will stop there because they're only asking how much the tip is. We do not need to go ahead and add them together because they didn't ask for the total. They only asked us for, to stop the tip. Last one, Mrs. Hink makes shirts on her Cricut. And it costs Mrs. Hink $4.50 to design and make one shirt. She wants to apply an 80% markup before selling the shirt. Find the selling price. Okay, so let's take a second and jump back to our graphic here. The cost plus the markup is going to get us the selling price. So we'll have to do a little bit of multiplication to get our markup amount, and then we are going to take those two numbers and add them together to get the selling price. So this will be one of those problems where we have to add at the end. Okay, so the first thing we do is we change 80% to a decimal. So we take our percent, move the decimal place two places to the left and we get 0 0.80. Now I'm going to do something here. I am going to clean up that zero at the end, okay? I'm going to clean it up, which changes my decimal from 0 0.80 to just 0 0.8. I do that because it's going to make the multiplication a little bit easier. So I'm now going to take 0 0.8 times four dollars and fifty cents and I get eight tenths times four fifty I get three dollars and sixty cents Now, $3.60 is the markup. That is how much money Mrs. Hink is going to add on to the cost of a shirt to get her selling price. But we're not finished there. We have to finish by actually finding the selling price. So to find the selling price, we are going to add $4.50, her cost, plus the markup, $3.60. And when we do that, we will get $8.10, and that is the selling price of one shirt. Okay, 
So since it asked us for the selling price, we did have to go in and add it in at the end. So big concept for this lesson is to pay attention to your vocabulary. Uh, know the difference between the markup and the selling price. Know the difference between tax and total. Know the difference between tip and total. Uh, and read carefully within the problem because sometimes you're asked to stop right after you multiply and sometimes you have to do a little bit of an addition to wrap it up. Okay, go ahead and do your practice problems. Write down any questions to ask in class tomorrow.